What's up YouTube, Doswell Beats back with another video. If this your first time to the channel, as always, welcome. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification button to get notified whenever I drop some heat. Alright, today what I'm doing, I'm trying to show y'all my new way, how I'm trying to arrange my beats. Um, I still like to bounce every all my MIDI into audio and then arrange them like that. But I'm trying to find a fast workaround. Instead of bouncing them to audio, I'm trying to find a faster way to do it. Um, I think this is a little bit faster how to do it, but uh, not sure yet. I'm still working on it, still trying to get it down. But um, yeah, just watch the video. Um, what I'm doing is I'm making the beat first. So the first five, six minutes, I'm going to make the beat. Then at, after that six minutes, then I'm going to show you all how I arrange the beat and how I'm trying to arrange the beat now. My new way that I'm trying to do. All right. So stay with me. Watch the video to the end. And let's get it, man. Appreciate you all for watching. Thank you. I'm going to catch you in the video. Let's go. All right. Peace. Let's get it. So I see something that I don't like. The loop around don't sound right to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. One, two, three. Take these. Move them over. Take these. Move them over. So what I'm doing is switching up the start spot. Then one, two, three. Then what we're going to do is take this, push them up. Let's see what that sounds like. It sounds more complete and turned back around to me. All right, so this is where we're going to leave it at right there. Control C, copy it, and let's bring it to another track. Uh, Control V, right? So what we want to do is add another um, sound and layer it. Let's listen. <laughs> Add a bass to it. Go ahead and add that hi hat to it. Let's add some triplets. 
triplets, triplet eighth on the top of that. Go ahead and add the kick to it now. So this was our hi hat. Let's go ahead and find the kick to it. So let me show y'all what I'm trying to in my arrangement now. This is how I'm I'm still I still like to bounce out the audio and do it. Reason why I don't like to do do it this way, but I'm starting to you know get to do it is because the the MIDI notes don't have a wrapper around it. See it don't have a wrapper. So you don't know where to start and where to begin. Yeah, you can tell it's four bars. Every four bars you can switch up or every eight bar you can switch up. But it's, it'll be easier if it have a wrapper around the MIDI. Now the audio will have a wrapper. So this is what I do so I can know exactly where to chop, right? What I do is I add just the audio in there for the eight bars. Just like a MIDI note, bounce it to audio and then mute it so then I can know where to chop so let's let me show you so if I double this in length right see that we have 16 bars but you don't know where the bars you know if you count it you know but in other DAWs you could just say you just want these four bars you can you have a wrapper around them you can take them and move them and whatever this you're gonna have to do that and sometimes this right here if you don't have it on like bar then sometimes you get slipped up and you'll select from like here and that's not the whole bar so that's confusing to some people it's conf when I first started it was confusing to me but to avoid that what I do is let's undo that undo the 16 bring it back to 8 right so what I'd like to do now is I'll go back to my go into my audio go home go into the audio right or let's go back let's go back to MIDI and on a MIDI track and what I like to do is just get a let me go to all the way to a, a right there right and let's add a um let's add a midi any midi will do right and just put a, a random sound on there just so it can bounce to audio just anything it don't matter right and what i do now is bounce this to audio then what i'll do i'll drag it down here add this to an audio track add to the current audio track right now once I'm in audio track make sure this is on warp right and this matches your BPM so 160 and it stretches to the end alright so from here now when we go back here you see the audio have a, a wrapper around it right so when I double the sequence again now you can see the see the wrapper you can move this wherever you want to move it right these don't have wrappers around it so all I have to do is just make sure you can add wrappers around the MIDI notes the 8 bar that you created or whatever so now what I like to do is just keep doubling the, the length double 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 right and just mute this so it don't play 
Now see, now it's easier for the eyes because it's right here. All you had to do is put this on bars. Now it's easier for the eyes to chop it up. So you take it right there because we know the audio is right there. So that's where the ending is at. That's the eight bars. So we can delete that. that's done let's take take some more stuff out you can do whatever you want to do now man see that I was looking at this and messed up see this is where our rapper is at let's come back here YouTube that's it I'm gonna leave the video off there for now this was just a video to show you the new way how I'm trying to arrange my video and make it easier for myself so this right here make it much easier you just add an audio track so you can see where the, the rapper is at instead of you counting the bars and eight bars and one two eight forget all that just use the rapper the rapper is an easy workaround MPC Akai Please do that. Just make the MIDI you have a wrapper on it. That's it. All right. See you in the next one, man.